like me, you like staying skinny and staying trim and having your beach body and all that, but you don't want to give up ice cream or start lifting weights and going running at 6 in the morning. Well, today I'm going to fix that problem by showing you how to lose weight without diet or exercise, and yes, it really does work. Let's get started. Watching is straight up bad across the board, bad for your bone health and spine health and can lead to early arthritis. You're also not really engaging any of your core muscles whatsoever. On the other hand, when you're squeezing in your core and standing up straight, you're really working all your muscles from your lats to your pecs to your transverse abs, everything. One trick is to imagine that there's a beam hanging from the ceiling perfectly down straight and try to have your spine just perfectly in line with it. time in a day do you spend sitting in a chair? Answer, too much. Spending all day sitting kind of causes your body to go into a sort of restive mode, which means you're burning way fewer calories than if you were standing on your feet. If ever you're waiting around or something, stand rather than sit. You could be burning up to a hundred some calories an hour just by standing on your feet. For the next few seconds, we're going to look at a picture of four fourth grade boys watching TV. See if there's anything of concern. If you answered Cartman, you're correct. Cartman here is the only one eating potato chips while watching the History Channel. Unfortunately, yeah, it needs to stop. See, it's Psychology 101. Every time you eat, you watch TV. Then every time you watch TV, you'll think about eating. That leads to a vicious cycle of overeating and eating when you're not actually hungry, which can cause you to put on the extra pounds. So here's the simple rule. If you want to grab food, grab food. If you want to watch TV, watch TV. But don't do both at the same time. Which leads me to my next point. You can eat whatever you want. You don't have to change your diet. Just make sure you keep track of it. Whether you want to use a food logging app, write it down in a diary, or take pictures of your meals. Just have some sort of log for the food that you eat. Keep a log of everything from breakfast, lunch to dinner to in between snacks. It helps you be more accountable and aware of your choices and you can kind of see where you're messing up or you might be able to do a little better and all that stuff. Quick quiz! Which of the following drinks is the best for quenching your thirst? I'll give you a few seconds to decide. And the right answer is none of them. If you're thirsty, the go-to drink is water. Plain old H2O. While things like milk, juice, and soda do have their place sometimes, bear in mind that they are essentially liquefied food. According to my calculations, this equates to over 40 pounds a year. Surprisingly, most people actually don't get their eight glasses of water a day. Believe it or not, drinking water helps a ton with weight loss. Sometimes people mistake in thirst for hunger, which leads them to eat when really all they needed was a simple glass of water. I personally suggest having at least two glasses of water with every meal, at least one before and after, because that will help fill you up. A lot of my favorite foods are stereotypically unhealthy, like pasta and ice cream and stuff like that. Well, I'm not about to give that up anytime soon. Personally, what I did is instead learn how to make them myself so I can customize it, make it exactly how I like. Plus, if nothing else, cooking and standing on your feet burns more calories than sitting on the couch and ordering takeout, so that alone already puts you a step in the right direction. a million recipes on how to make ice cream healthy. Yes, healthy ice cream. If you want to see that video, just leave a like and comment below so I know. Go shopping in the store at the mall. It's so much fun to go see all the visuals and the retail theater and all that cool stuff. Faster, more efficient, and you burn a lot more calories and get a way better workout than just ordering stuff online at home. Call me the joker. Call me the fool. Get 
plenty of sleep each night. It really is important. I know everyone's needs going to be a little bit different, but in general, adults should be getting about seven to eight hours of sleep each night, and kids should be getting about nine to ten if you're growing. Surprisingly, most people don't actually make this quota. When she calls, I always see her lose my cool. Sleep means rest, and rest means repair. Your body needs to recover and repair from the activities of the previous day. If you don't get enough rest, you're just going to be all tired and worn out the next day which means you're not going to feel like being very active, which means you're not going to be expending as much energy, which means you're not going to be burning as many calories. Now I'm sorry, I'm going to have to sound a little bit more scientific here than I wanted to, but this is kind of the best way I know how to explain it. When you sleep, your body is regulating your hormones. Some of those levels have to do with stress, eating, appetite, things like that. In order to function properly, your body needs enough time to regulate all these levels. But when you don't get enough sleep, some of these levels get out of whack because your body didn't get to finish the whole process of regulation. One example is cortisol. When you don't sleep enough, your cortisol levels become too high and that's going to make you hungry, tired, your slow metabolism, your stress goes up and less energy and all that stuff. So remember, you can regulate a lot of your metabolism and your stress levels and all of that just by getting enough sleep each night. What's life without an adventure? Make sure you go take an adventure at least once a week. That's not too much to ask for. It's something you're going to have a lot of fun spending time outdoors. Try something you've never done before. Whether you like water, dry land stuff, or just showing off for Instagram or Vine or whatever. Just get out there and have some fun. Some ideas to get you started. Canoe, kayak, ski, snowboard, sailboat, wakeboard, parasail, skydive, longboard, bike, zipline, White water raft, hang glide over an active volcano. That last one was a bit of a banger, but we're going to end on an easier note here. And that's watch some videos on my channel. I make lots of unconventional but super fast and effective tutorials very similar to the one you just saw and I know you're going to love those a lot too so make sure you go check those out. If you just watch the videos but you don't necessarily run through the entire workout, you are going to feel so much more empowered, inspired, and you'll feel like you can do anything. That's already a great step in the right direction. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you like this tutorial and give this video a thumbs up because I make lots of tutorials very similar to this one and I'm always taking video requests too. So leave those below in the comments and I will reply to every single one of you guys. You guys know how interactive I am with you and I really take pride in that. I'll send lots of emojis and hearts and kisses your way. If you want to see part two to this video, just leave a comment below and like this video so I know. I'm not really good at wrapping up these videos, but I'll see you guys next week in my next video. So, mwah. Bye.